Okay, hello everybody. So today we're gonna have some fun. Today we are going to do a ISX Cummins uh, with an oil leak. We are going to find this oil leak and we're gonna do a quick little repair on it. So basically what we have, nice little pool all over the place, you know. So, so we have a oil leak, which is, you know, right above this. It's right here with this little napkin is i mean we'll end up pulling that out but you know let's pull this out right here and there we go yeah so our oil is coming out of this general facility right it's vicinity right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart and figure out first we thought the oil pan was all messed up again the oil pan's not leaking the leak is in this area right here so we're gonna have some fun we're gonna hunt down this leak and we're gonna seal this back up. And yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay guys, here we go. So we have an ISX Cummins. <sighs> Oil leak like crazy. You see somebody tried to uh, JB weld this thing. Has another oil leak up here on top. I mean, it has multiple oil leaks all over this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this entire front cover and we are going to put a brand new gasket set on this old girl. Uh, so she has 828,000 miles on it. It is an international. The cat is over there laughing at her, you know. But we're going to, we're going to put the little red machine together because, you know, some people love these red, you know, the, the Cummins. But, you know, we'll, we'll fix her up. So right now, so we're going to start. I already pulled off the fan clutch. Um, we pulled off that oil, I'm mean, the water pump over there. We're now going to, I'm going to do the damper here. I'm going to clean that up before I even try to pull it. Took the bolts out already. Then we'll remove this housing on the side. And then we'll remove all this, all the garbage here on the side. And then we'll be ready to ta start taking this all down. So i'll 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 do some cut scenes here and there i'll do a little walkthrough on this and that if anybody wants to do this themselves you know who knows i think this is maybe two twenty five hundred to four grand whatever it could be at the shop depending you know depending on how much time they have in it so probably at least 25 so uh get the finger out of the way all right so where it's pot so here's basics you know don't go out you don't need to get a, get a puller i already popped this off but all you really need to do to take this pulley off is get yourself a nice this you know tankers bar and just wiggle a little bit man look at that thing just popped right off so now what we're gonna do we're gonna shine up that right there we're gonna lube that up real nice and we're gonna pop that off in one second and i'll show you how that's gonna come off okay round here we go so this is not that hard find the bolts to always use the bolts okay put your bar behind it and just give her a little wiggle and she will come off she will pop off trying to be very careful so if you look in here there's some bolts inside here so we can just jam our barb down inside there on that bolt and if you watch she's coming She's moving very slowly, but she's coming. And then, you know, just keep lubing her up. You can see she's like barely on there. She's almost off. Some little PB blaster buddies. All right. And yeah, this is not that hard. Just work, keep working back and forth, side to side. Always make, make sure you use the bolts. Don't wedge on the cover at all. You see she's moving slowly back and forth. The bolt right there we're going to wedge on. And, yeah. Okay, so just a quick little technique. Had that bar and a bolt on the back. Get yourself another little bar. All right. Work the top. Then once you get down here on the bottom, you know, then get down here on the bottom... And, you know, she's going to wiggle pretty easy, you know. And just like that, off she comes. No fancy tools, nothing. She's off. And 
let's begin the next part of the teardown. Okay, so I fast forward a little bit. Here's what's been done. So, all the bolts for this cover right here have been taken off. This will actually just lift up. There's a little notch that takes that off, okay? Next off, we took off this little, this little cover down here. Most of the bolts have been removed. I still have the oil pan bolts down below that I need to do. I still have to get rid of this garbage on the sides here. Then I will sit here, I will turn the motor, I will time everything out before I take all these, I'm gonna have to remove the gears to pull this cover off because this cover right here is coming off. So I will time everything. Then I will pull all the necessary gears out. So this one's gonna come off, this one's gonna come off, this one's gonna come out, this one's gonna come up. Basically every gear except this one and that little gear down there in the corner. I mean, no, I, this one will not come off. So that will basically be it. We will pull all this. I will take the rest of the oil pan ones off the oil pan to hold the, the retain this cover down below there. As you can see, we have a mess. Then we'll have to get a complete seal kit and we will begin putting everything back together. So there's just a quick flash. You know, you didn't need to see me take bolts up. I'll show you time everything out and that'll be next. And then I will start removing, continue removing junk. Okay, quick video guys. This is add-on. Covers are back on right this second because I had to close it up since I'm doing this outside. Um, so to remove this bracket right here that holds your AC, your alternator, there's three bolts only hold that on. Only three bolts. But you have these tiny little spacers, you know, take a set of ice scripts, squeeze them, and then just rotate them a little bit and they'll pull out. You can see they're slightly indented in there. So they sit in there really tight. This way here you can't just like pop it out by, you know, brute force. All right. Turn them a little bit. You know, squeeze them. Turn them a little bit. Bam. Comes right out. All right. Okay. Back to the Cummins project. I bleeped ahead quite a bit here, but I'm just going to go through. I'll show you most of the reassembling that. So you need a nice puller to get your camshaft gear off. Okay, so you're going to have two bolts back up here on the very top. Okay, you're going to need to take those off. You're going to have two bolts. These are all on the opposite side. You need the two back there. You need to remove all the inner bolts. You need to remove the special little bolt down in here. Okay, all the interior bolts. All this is on the front. All this is on the front. Then you're going to have the air compressor bolt. You're going to need to remove that. That stud will come out with it. You're going to need to remove the two fuel injection, the, the fuel injection ones. Those will come out, you know. They need to come out, otherwise you're not going to come forward. You need to take the motor mount out. You need to take out six oil pan bolts. Okay. Then you're going to need to support it. What I do, what I have it done right now, I've got a jack sitting under, under the transmission mount, under the transmission right now. And then... We have the tractor just holding this up. All I did was pop the cover off quick. And then I sat there, put the mount back on to hold it in place. So 